How the heck are you everybody? I'm Fastidious and welcome back to my channel. So, another day, another Faction Trials Stage 12. Here's gonna be a little guide for y'all on Esotericis. Today is Esotericis Day. I pulled up the gallery here. You can see I actually have all like the normal Esotericis in the game. Uh, Elowen was the last one I needed. The ones I'm missing now are Philippa, who's the most recently added epic in the game. Her and Draga were added about a month ago. And then I don't have any of the chaotic units, Dasomi or Kata. Uh, Kata, is that his name? Kata? That's how I say it. Katie, Kata. Uh, and I don't have any lords, so we'll do this without a lord. However, off camera, I just beat 10 and 11. So I do think this is going to be a lot more straightforward than yesterday. This feels like it's going to be pretty smooth sailing. So let's get into it. Fastidious. Fastidious. All right, guys, let's hop on in stage 12. Uh, the only difference from what I did on 11 going into 12 is I'm only using one tank. You see, I'm like bringing Ardith and all these other people. They're not going to get deployed. We're not going to use Nazim, uh, Nassalt, or Ardith. We're only going to use the other six guys. Um, and Jankar, Yankar, I don't know how people say it. I say Jankar. Uh, he will be our tank. So you see my Jankar is level 50. Uh, I just put Olog's gear on him. So reasonably tanky, but he's got pretty low base health uh, because he's not a six star. Fairly tanky for a fighter, but we're gonna have to do with what we're gonna have to do with. Uh, the notable things about Jankar, uh, going on 10 and 11, I only had him at four stars. I think for this, I'm gonna need him at five stars promotion. So I actually just did that because uh, that five star promotion is when he's gonna get this special talent. When he's blocking enemies, he applies curse. If you're unfamiliar with curse, this is something I believe specific to the Esotericist faction. Um, I know Jankar does it, Comet does it, um, of course Venoma does it if you're able to get her. I don't know if a couple other people do it, but cursed units can't perform their basic attack. It's so basically you take way less damage because you're getting hit way less, they're only using their special attacks. Uh, so this should make him tanky enough, I think he'll be able to do it at 5 stars. Aside from that, that this is just our standard little Jankar guy. The other thing you have to remember about Jankar is once you get him leveled up with a couple promos, uh, we can actually check which promotion this happens. Uh, he gets one extra block. So at promotion level two, he gets three blocks. So like the base block equal to more like a tank, a defender, not what you'd expect out of a fighter. He very much is a tank, even though he's a fighter. Really cool hero, excited to bring him in here. Uh, and let's do the fight. So I will just tell you right now, I obviously have good heroes for this fight. Um, what's very strange, uh, stage 10, so obviously yesterday with Cursed, if anyone that missed that, I did like what should have been a three star clearance. Like no one hit my portal uh, on stage 12. However, they had a silly thing that said deploy three fighters. They do a similar thing here for stage 10, deploy two healers. The only healers in this faction are legendary healers, Ezrin, uh, Dasomi, and of course, Elowen. I don't like that at all. So basically, if you haven't been lucky pulling two out of those three, so for me, I just got Elowen. Otherwise, I would not have been able to three-star this stage 10. Fortunately, for stage 12, they just want to have the soul core intact and all the heroes alive. Uh, so that's the reason why I'm not going to deploy anyone like Nazim or Nassalt or Ardith, because they're not built, they're not geared. So just they're just coming into the battle. They're not going to get deployed because I don't want to risk them dying. We don't need them. Uh, but I will say I is going to be the MVP. I put like my best curse set on her. This is the build I had on my Nyx currently uh, for farming gear aid three. Uh, I think she's going to be a superstar. She's been definitely MVP for 10 and 11. Aside from that, Comet uh, puts out some nice DPS. This is the build Comet's normally in. I actually went for uh, this piece over here that doesn't have crit rate just to get a little more attack speed and raid regen. There's a couple of these mages I'll show you guys right now and then we'll get into the battle. They come marching out. Can I see the enemies? Yes, this guy. And when he hits you, he drains your rage. So you'll have less rage. So I thought a little extra rage regen might go a nice way. And then certainly when it comes to building rage regen, Elowen is great for this fight. So very happy to bring her in. Uh, we'll go through everyone's gear and builds, or the six heroes that I actually use. Is it six heroes? It is, right? Seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have the seven heroes I actually use. We'll do that at the end. Hopefully right now we get in there and we just clear this right away. So, um, I'm going to do the same strategy I did for 10 and 11. Uh, Ezrin is very clutch for me here. I have A1 Ezrin, so his heals are even a little bit better because he does an extra heal based off of the target's attack. Uh, I say that because, you see, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait because we need to prolong or put off when we actually drop uh, Jankar. I'm going to put him here because guy, this guy would have been hitting him and getting his health too low. 
Now he's gonna get pretty low, but I think if I immediately deploy Ezrin right here, that should do it. You see really big heals out of Ezrin, 16K, 16.8K, uh, really good stuff. So now Ezrin is down. Next thing we can throw it on 2X, we gotta get ready with uh, I. I is gonna go here. We wanna get her out bright and early. These squares, if you guys don't know, uh, let me pause this, oh my God. <laughs> Hopefully that, that didn't mess everything up. Uh, let me go here, let me throw this on 1X. All right, so these squares, when a hero is uh, on it, their attack speed increases, uh, and they use the uh, skills, the lightning gift's gonna deal massive damage to enemies and slow them down. This is pretty clutch. So you see, we, gave, we got her out a little late, but she's already making her crystals. I hope that is gonna be A-OK. -okay. Now we're gonna wait, we're gonna wait. The second Comet's ready, we put him on that lightning square over there. That should be fine. And you can see, these guys can't use basic attacks, uh, so it definitely helps Ezrin in a pretty major way. Ezrin. It help, well, helps Ezrin the healing. He doesn't have to heal as much, but it helps uh, Jankar survive in a pretty major way. All right, so we're going to wait. We're going to wait. We got to get Navros down as soon as possible. There's that AoE lightning damage that happens from the people on the lightning squares. Now, between Navros and all these ice crystals from I, we should get enough damage on those three. Uh, nope, going to restart that. I think it's because I got a late deployment on I, so let's head right back into this. Just trying to show that lightning box, and I messed everything up. I'm telling you, this is going to be smoother than yesterday. I can feel it. I can feel it. So here we go. Here comes Jankar. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. You know, minimize the amount of time he's down without Ezrin, right? So now Ezrin's already ready. Get Ezrin down. Some nice big heals. And let's get I down as soon as possible. I think I was like four cost late. Right when we get to 19 cost, let's deploy I. Excellent. It should be a lot better. It takes her a second to create these crystals. So uh, now that they're up, now you see we're going to already be freezing. These guys are much, much more manageable. So we wait, we wait, we wait. Let's get Comet down. Let's get him ready. Ah, looking way better this time. Uh, it's getting, so this happens sometimes. I get distracted talking to the camera. So these guys are almost dead. Hopefully we can take them out. Let's get Navros down right now. Okay, we did. Excellent. Doing really good. Now we gotta get Elowen down. And guys, this is what makes, every, everyone's like, isn't Hollow better than Elowen? I mean, they're different. Hollow's really good for Guild Boss, right? Cause you can fit everyone in her range and everyone's taking damage. So Hollow is, generating this was talk comparing them as rage generators right uh so hollow uh when she heals people especially when you have her at a1 and her ultimate's active she's gonna uh get lots of rage going for your allies elowin just passively depending on how skilled up her passive is every three to five seconds is going to generate one to three percent rage for everyone on the map does not does not matter if she's healing anyone does not matter if they're within her range so that that's just what makes her so 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 op so you want to get her down nice and early so everyone can get these little rage ticks. So now it's kind of up to if Comet can get his job done over here. You can see he's getting a, a bit of his stuff stolen. It's going to be very tight. Let's get ready with Navros. Let's throw this thing on 1x. Uh, yeah, so Comet got zapped a few times by that mage guy, so he wasn't getting his... Uh, his ult up fast enough, you know, it kept getting dropped down. So let's wait. Navros should be able to get get these guys, I hope. So there's a little bit of a slow. Come on, Navros, do it. Oh, we just missed it. All right, let's run it back. You can see a touch of RNG there uh, that happened with Comet. We'll, we'll get it on one of these next few tries, no question. Again, I got distracted with my talking. That's too early a deploy on, on Jankar. Let's wait, let's wait, let's wait. Wait, perfect. There's Ezrin. It's, I get maybe it's good that I fail a couple times so you guys can learn uh, how I do my initial deploys if you're gonna copy this strategy. So here we go, let's get ready with I. There she goes. That was quite quick with I. You can see she's wearing a tear of twilight. You'll see that when I break down the gear and the artifacts. Let's wait, let's wait, let's wait. Here comes Comet. Some nice freezes from I. Thank you, someone, for a sub, I think. <laughs> That's what that sounded like. All right, let's get ready with Navros. Actually, probably, because we have such good damage already, we can get rid of, we can get away with doing Elowin first and then Navros this time, I think. Uh, I did a lot better on the damage that time. That might be the difference. So there we go. Take care of this mage guy. He's going to freeze there. Excellent. Uh, let's get Navros down now. You can see he keeps getting zapped, so I'm never... All right, now that time they zapped Ezrin. That's great. We really want to trigger uh, Comet. I'm just going to start hammering away on this. Come on. All right, now that Comet's triggered, we should see some big boom damage. Excellent. There was some lightning, too, because he activated his skill while on the lightning square. Beautiful. Uh, I'm sure you can do this without Comet. I shouldn't say I'm sure. You likely can do it. You're going to have to lean really hard on I, though. 
I'm sure that you could put I up here on one of these squares, so she's doing crystals on both sides of the uh, of the core, and maybe you get a really nasty build on her. This is, I do have Comet, so this is the strategy I'm choosing to use. Now we're gonna place Laurel here. I'm not gonna do any Rage Mage drop and pick up. However, now Laurel, whenever uh, anyone within her range, up to, uh, when anyone within her range, it might not even be within her range, it might just be nearby her. Um, triggers their ultimate, they're gonna get damage boost. I have her skilled up, so that'll be 20% damage boost. So that's just gonna help I and help Navras just a little bit more. Additionally, we can always trigger her ult whenever it gets full to give rage to up to three people in her range because I have her awakened. Uh, so that's pretty good. Now I think we're cruising. Look how many crystals I's gotten up. As long as we can, you know, Elwin can keep helping Comet generate his rage, we should be good to go. It feels like it's going to be smooth sailing. No one left to deploy. Let's just get ready as soon as Comet's ready. All right, look, they zapped Jankar. That's perfect. They didn't zap Comet. And now we're off to the races. Skadoosh, skadoosh, skadoosh. Might as well get a heal out there. Might as well trigger Navras. Navras, Navras. I don't know how to say it. Excellent. Come on, take care of this guy. Take care of this guy. It's going to be a little tight. We're fine over here. All right, so this is where maybe it's going to be Harry. Come on. Ooh, down went Jankar. Shoot, man. All right, so I, I triggered too early on Navras. We got to get in there. You can see we're close. We're close. We are very close. Very, very close. Come on, not a repeat of yesterday. I don't want this to be a 20-minute video. I just want to get this done. Come on, baby. Let's see. Let's get Ezrin down. Was that too late? That was too late. Oh, my God. All right, this is the this is the run. This is the run. This is the run, baby. I gotta give it to them with these uh, faction trial stages. Pretty fun, pretty unique maps. Big heals from Ezrin. Let's go. I'm already ready with I. I might even one exit to try to perfect this. Let's see. There we go. Awesome. See, I think I need to save Navros for like emergencies like when I really need him like I, I, I did it I was a little too trigger happy before all right there goes Comet lovely now we're gonna do Elowen next because I do think that worked really nicely you can see the damage is still looking good over here lots of freezes touch of RNG to which crystal she builds when so that's something that maybe part of the reason maybe why it's taking a, a few a couple tries a little late on Elowen there unfortunately you know it is what it is hopefully this guy targets uh this guy targets Ezrin once or twice, and then we'll be able to get the, the ult off with Comet. Let's get you done now, Navras. It's looking meh, I don't know. Doesn't look great, doesn't look terrible, but doesn't look great. Let's throw this on 1x, let's be careful. If we can kill that mage guy. It's a little hairy, it's a little hairy. We need to get this ult off. There, we got a trigger from, uh, you see the ult went off from I, and that gave the AoE damage, and that was the difference that helped us pick those guys off. So pretty important to take care of those squares. So where I was saying before, you know, you could get I um, to, to cover both sides of the portal, then you're probably not, or maybe you could put her here, facing this way with that reach. I don't think it would. I think you'd be missing this square, and here you're missing this square. Um, so it's gonna be a trade-off. If you have another source of damage you can use, like I guess I could have tried putting Navros here and putting I in the middle. Maybe that's actually not a bad idea at all. So if we fail that again, maybe we'll try that switch. But I do think this is a strong strategy, what I already have going. You can see Laurel's ready now, so we can get uh, Eye up a little bit faster. This guy's gonna keep getting frozen, which is really nice, so he won't be able to drain our rage as much. See Comet is ready to rumble. Everything's looking pretty good. So I wanna wait till these guys are in the uh, in the range, all, all of them, I think. So Navros can really maximize with those Ravens exploding. All right, let's trigger now with Comet. So we should be good on the left, I think. I don't think this is gonna give us too much trouble. Let's be patient, let's be patient. Now Ross isn't even able to get full right now because that stupid mage guy. Come on, hopefully he's gonna be ready soon. Let's throw this on 1x. We're taking care of business a lot faster, actually. These guys are kind of nasty. Come on, take, take care of that mage. Nice. See, a touch of RNG, it seems like, right? Like, we were way better with the crystals this time. We're getting less overwhelmed. We put out a lot more damage on the left as well. I right, finally, now Ross is ready. Let's go. So the damage isn't crazy, but it's it's something. Uh, frick, man. Are we not going to have enough damage over here, though? There go some ravens over there. Hey, that's something. 
Come on, Ellen, let's get some heals out. This is gonna be tight. This is gonna be tight. Look how close this is. Oh my god. No way. All right, come on, come on. Maybe we can get a little chain going if we get a kill. Come on, Comet. It's also, J Jengar is in a tough spot as well. Oh, they're out of range now. And we lose. Unless Navros can pick this off. Shoot, man. Okay, let's try the different strategy. Let's mix it up. Let's put Navros here, and let's put I there, right? Let's mix it up. Don't be, I don't want to be the kind of person that keeps trying the same thing over and over and failing. Let's go. I do think we're really close. If a couple more things broke our way, maybe. But uh, all right, let's get Ezrin down. I think I put Ezrin, yeah, we can put Ezrin here. Will that be enough crystals if I po point her this way? I guess we're gonna find out right about now. <laughs> here comes I. There we go. We're gonna have to see. I don't know. I really don't know if this is gonna be enough, if I'm being honest. I feel like maybe no. You can see it took a little longer. Like these these crystals weren't ready. Oh, we did get a couple freezes at least. Hopefully, uh, Jankar stays alive over there. Uh, do, do, do. Let's get ready. We gotta get Navros down. Also, the other thing is he's not gonna reach very well, I'm realizing. That's not excellent. So we probably would wanna put Jankar here. He would still fit into the range, but then he'd be getting hit earlier. Another thing to think about. I don't know if his, his range, uh, no, his range does not expand. Uh, so not the best situation, but we'll leave him there for now because so far we're still surviving it You see I held off on putting Elo in that time, which I certainly did not have to do. Oh my god now I'm getting frustrated. It's a repeat of yesterday. All right. What's the strategy here? What is the solution? All right, let's try to put Jankar one further down and let's do Elowin first then Navros So we'll put Jankar here to make sure that uh, These guys are gonna be a Navros range. You guys are really seeing me figure this out in real time. <laughs> All right, let's wait, let's wait, let's wait, let's wait. There we go. We're gonna be a little bit later on Ezrin. That could, we don't know, is that the difference? Will, will we still make it? Nice heal, 16.8, 16. All right, let's go 16.03. All right, we made it. Let's get ready with I. So really, this is the one square, right? And then we did land a crystal there. So it seems lucky that we went there first with the crystal. But she's kind of putting crystals everywhere right now. Um, let's get uh, you down, Comet. Nice. We got to get Elowen down. I think we can hold off on now, Rust, for a bit. The damage isn't great, though. You can see the damage is way worse than it was last time. And we died. Freaking heck, man. Frickin heck. All right, I think we're gonna go back to strategy number one and we're gonna hope for the best. I guess I'll try to be a little bit more diligent with placements and timings. I don't know, man, I don't know. Boy, I thought we were really close. There, it is. let's wait. All right, now that guy turns around a bit. Nice, all right, where are you? There's Ezrin. I think maybe we were missing the lightning damage since it took us a while to put Navrest out on that square. Uh, so, not our best. All right, let's get ready with Comet. So you see, way better. There's way many, many more spots that the crystals can go when you put her on this spot. I think it's going to be the move. Hmm. All righty. Maybe I point Navrost this way. I don't know. Would these guys be clipping into his range if we did that? I guess I can find out. I'm not 100% sure. And down he frickin' goes. Oh my god! Okay, run it back. My sweet god. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Ezrin. I tried back on stage 10 uh, using Elowin on this side, but Ezrin is, uh, he's just got bet stronger heals because he's six star and Elowin isn't, so that's the move. He's also single target and Elowin's multi-target. Let's wait, let's wait. All right, we gotta get I right away. So we need some crystal RNG. That's a great first spot. Good job, I. Okay, let's get ready with Comet. I almost wonder if we could do Elowin already, if that would help. I don't know. Let's do Comet. All right, damage looks okay right now. Hopefully we can do this. Looks very tight, and again, we can't make it. 
part this part would be solved with just six starring uh six starring our guy obviously but that's it's not an option today so we got it we got to figure it out i'm gonna keep grinding it out we can get this we can get this so let's wait Let's wait, let's wait, let's wait. Okay. All right. I'm trying to think what's what it was smooth before. Maybe it's just there's a touch in RNG with the with the crystal creation and, and those locations. I don't know. But yeah, definitely not going great right now. <laughs> Maybe we gotta do Navros before at Elowen to be safe this time. We can try that. I'll try that for sure. Come on, big heals, Ezrin. Come on, buddy. All right, so see, the damage is way better. No, this time we're going to be able to get away with it. I think it's just where the crystals keep appearing and reappearing, right? The damage is way stronger this time. See, we just need one more crystal explosion and we should be good. Yeah, there we go. Now two of the guys died. Yeah, so there's a lot of RNG that goes into this with I, at least for the way I'm going about this. I'm sure someone in the comments is gonna say it's not the right way, but you know, it is always. I, I am gonna experiment a little. Let's point him this way and see if these guys clip into the range. It looks like they don't, but I think we're dealing with it well enough. I'd rather have him pointing left as, a, as that kind of safety valve. Um, I think it's gonna be more beneficial. All right, let's get Laurel down. Nice, great. We didn't even need to use the ult yet over here, and we're not even gonna need to use the ult over here because Navras is helping a ton. I think maybe that's the move. Point him left, hope for some good RNG, and we're going to get that sweet, sweet clearance. Come on. All right, these big marching guys, these guys are scary. Come on, I. Let's make some crystals, baby. There you go. Every spot. Crystals on every tile. She's crazy. When she has time to rev up, which she definitely does on these Esotericist stages, pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. All right, let's wait and go as soon as we can all right looking pretty good let's trigger you come on baby let's go i think yeah we're, we're gonna need some good ice crystal rng over here which we're getting it seems i don't know she only has so many spots put it put one there put one there uh yikes this isn't gonna be good now all right we got to trigger will he reach i don't know let's find out nope so it, that didn't that didn't cut it right uh, it's, that's, it's the ice crystal RNG. Jeez Louise. All right, run it back. All right, we're going to face Navros down again, actually. I don't know. I don't even know what to do. Um, let me think. What if we put him... Hmm. I don't know. We're, we're, let's, let's face him down. I think we need him there more, actually. If everything lines up like it did before, Comet can handle it by himself. All right, Ezrin's doing his thing. Oh, my God. I really thought this one... I thought I... I, I I would have bet more likely than not I was going to clear it on my first try. I was just going to sit down, do a little intro, and was just going to clear it. But we're having a little instant replay of yesterday. All right. Give me them crystals, baby. Give me them. Let's go. There's Comet. So we, I think we are, now we know we can start looking and see. All right, so the damage is looking good. We need, like, one more crystal to take care of this. Come on, Ice Crystal. Come on, Ice Crystal. Make my day. Yep, there's one. Boom. There we go. That's what we needed. Excellent. Let's get ready with Navros. I'm going to point him down this time. Probably, I think that is the smart thing to do. See, but now this guy's just choosing to keep hitting Comet over and over, and then it's like a whole issue for us. Uh, we get the trigger here. Yep. There we go. There's the lightning. Oh, we're just, is this guy just going to squeak through? Give me a hit. There, Navros. Clutch, my man. Clutch. Very clutch. All right. <laughs> we <We've>, Woo! <laughs> Dude, by the skin of our teeth. All right. Get those crystals out. Let's go, baby. I could also probably get a better guilt build going on Navros. I just swapped, I think, Hex's gear onto him, but it's very high crit damage gear because it's guild boss gear. It's sli slightly lazy. You guys will see. If I clear it with this build, I'll break that build down. Otherwise, I'll switch some stuff around. All right, let's hold off on him. Let's trigger Comet as soon as we possibly can. And then we'll get some nice AoE lightning, right? Yep, nice. All right, come on, trigger those crystals. Maybe I could get a little more attack speed on uh, I as well. See, uh, Navros now lost like all his rage from that stupid rage mage guy. All right, let's go. All right, cool, we triggered Navros. We're taking care of at least that one guy. We've got some nice freezes. 
Is this the run? Come on. Come on. No, it's looking pretty bad. This isn't good. We need, some, we need the crystal right there. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, uh, wait, we can go like this, get some heals. Up, oh, trigger. Nice. Okay, come on, baby. Make my day. Make my day. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> How long was that? Let me check the time. Ah, 25 minutes. It could be a lot worse. We got it done. Uh, so, yeah, I will. I'll tell you guys right now my plan is I'm every day I'm hopefully going to beat every 12 and I'll make a video like this. Hopefully, they're not all this long. But let's go with the stats really quick. But what we're going to do is when I'm done with all of them, then I will go and make like one clearance and show how I clear each one. And I'll make one video of every faction, like one video, including every faction. So it'll be like a 40 minute video or 35 minute video where you just see like my three star clearance of every stage. And that can be something people refer back to. So these are just you guys getting to see my process and have a little fun. I'm not expecting huge views on anything like this. This is just uh, I'm enjoying it. You can tell. I think this is really fun. I like these maps. There we go. We got the W. Uh, so lots of damage out of Comet, and I, now Russ, really not doing much at all. And then a tiny touch out of our five-star Yankar. Jankar Yankar. So there you have it. Uh, and that is technically I two-starred that Cultist 12 yesterday, right? Because we only used two fighters. Uh, so this is my first fully complete uh, faction-specific trial. Obviously, I'd already done basic trial. You can see there's a little skill crystal for our trouble. Um, you know what? I can even claim that now. I, I, the energy's fine. The stamina's fine because I'm going to go farm gear aid three. I've been putting skill crystals into Elowin trying to max out her passive. So might as well do that on camera right now. You can see here, I still need two more here. Worst case, I'm going to have to do five more crystals into her. But it is her day. It's the Esotericist day. This was the first time I ever used her. So fun thing to do. Let's see. Land on that little leaf, baby. Come on. Let's go. All right. So potentially we can do it in one more. So now we've maxed out the recovery. We just need to max out the interval. Uh, so we're at the 3% 3, 3 of their rage. And see, this is what I meant, guys. All allies. Uh, that's pretty cool stuff. All right, let me show you those builds really, really quickly. And we'll wrap this bad boy up. Where is my esotericist? We got to scroll down. Here you go. So Comet is in his like normal Comet build, just not perfect crit. I decided, like I said, I wanted a touch of rage regen, not just relying on the rage regen I have in my Pantheon. I guess I can show you guys my Pantheon too. I do pretty good. I rarely miss this. So you can see I, I'm at level 61. It's also worth mentioning esotericist is the, the top priority potentially for you guys, because this is the one that helps uh, the same as basic trial. So you see this can be come from all, which is your basic trial and esotericist. All the other ones are only going to be open every like three days, right? This one you can be building out every day and then build it out a little extra when esotericists come. So I actually need purple insignias for this. The other ones, I'll have to break them down as I push to the higher stuff. Uh, but there, they're immediately useful. Um, okay. So let's look at that. Uh, so our esotericist comet yeah he's in this build so that's you saw i have like the 30 percent rage regen or whatever that's what we're leaning on was it 30 percent? i should have said that explicitly let's see uh 31 that's pretty darn good so this is why i don't really build rage regen on my guys because if you build your pantheon out you can do it pretty well uh so he's got that and then you know we went for some attack not particularly high 15 6 is fine crit rate isn't great crit damage isn't great it, honestly none of it's that great and soulbound arcana is not even that great either because i think we only triggered his ult three times this is a very imperfect comet build you know it just is what it is <laughs> i was trying to move gear around as little as possible let's see the rest of our esoteris this next up is gonna be ezrin uh broken set here you can see this is a nice little attack speed piece that i like because there's attack bonus heal effect and rage regen uh, kind of eases the burden on searching for attack piece speed over here. So you can see all in all, Ezreal has very high base attack. So we got over 17k. That is plenty. We got over 100 heal effect. 100 heal effect is like what I go for. And some nice attack speed. So we got him in a 1.3 second interval. This is a good Ezreal build. Honestly, it is. Salvation set over here. I'll just click through the pieces so you can see. You can pause if you want. Uh, Elowin, she's not easy. She's I'm at the quarter of glories tomorrow. So I haven't even six starred her yet. Uh, we just put her in this nice little build, so we gave a little inspo boost to Comet. Um, we went for trying to push attack as much as we could. Uh, her attack's not that high. She's only three stars promotion, only level 50. But you can see we built, what, 11.7k attack is okay. Attack interval's fine. She's not that fast at all. And no real rage regen and no real heal. Of, I mean, the heal effect's pretty decent, actually. 97. That's actually quite good. We got her in an orb. We've got Ezrin in a bright root. This is, used to be jungle fever. It doesn't really matter. Ezrin could also have been in an orb. Uh, I probably just forgot to do it. 
uh, or no, I remember now, the orb was on Hollow and I didn't want to move her stuff around. Here's I, speaking of Hollow, her twin sister. Uh, this is the same gear I had on my Nyx. Uh, I think exactly the same gear I had on my Nyx. I, for this, I think 80% crit rate is fine, but maybe that contributed to some of the RNG troubles I was having. Attack speed is okay. I mean, she's got a slow attack speed and this is gonna, she's five second base interval. She can be built up though. I got her down to 3.5. I probably should have leaned further into attack speed to increase that crystal generation. But you know, I tried to keep it simple and just use my gear swap, uh, keep my life a little bit easy. You can see uh, she's max promo, she's level 60. We got 12.6 attack, not that good. Uh, crit rate is fine, crit damage is exceptionally good. It's all right, we got her in a uh, tier of Twilight. She's actually in my worst one. Probably should have, looking back, put the better one on her, my, my the best one, it's only promo one, but that one was on Comet. She might have needed it more. Uh, this is what she was working with. I don't know if I clicked through the pieces, so I'll do that very quickly right now. Um, on to Navros, you can see, I believe that, yeah, this is the gear for my Hex, like I said. It's also not even the best build I have on my Hex, it's kind of random stuff, but it's mostly just reasonably high crit damage. It's actually just a bad build, I don't know, I probably just threw this together before I went to sleep last night for Guild Boss. Attack's not high enough, that's probably why the damage wasn't that good. Attack interval's fine, this is pretty good attack speed. He's crit capped, which is nice, crit damage is solid. Uh, and I don't have another tier of Twilight, so we did the White Tower Trinket, aka Eye of the White Tower, I believe it used to be called. He's nearly max skilled. I should say my Eye is max skilled. My Ezran is just dust. My Elwin I'm working on, as you saw, and my Comet is max skilled. On to Laurel, she is in a random inspo set. This doesn't matter, I'm just going for attack speed. Uh, the inspo set helps. I actually didn't even check where it landed, but you know, it's this is what I run on her for my gear aid three and that's what i was running right before this you can see for artifact we have a nightmare samsara this isn't like my best built out one i think that one's on lasir right now i could have moved that over but wasn't imperative uh she is max skill and i do really love this this it says it's 10 percent, but it actually is 20 percent. you can check when you're actually in the fight and you click on your heroes another if you're watching devs another tooltip mistake this started at 10 percent, and then it's plus 10 percent, and then it didn't adjust here change that uh but I, you should skill her out of course, you can use this Rage Mage thing if you want by picking her up. I chose not to do that, but that it could be a nice way to do it. Um, yeah, maybe if we needed a little more damage out of Navros or something, we could have tried that. But this was fine. Uh, and then finally, our last guy, Yankar. You can see this is just Skill Dust. It is what it is. Uh, there you can see that's his ultimate. Uh, he's really there. We just tried to get him tanky. We got him up to 50k HP, which seems sufficient. Getting him to promo 5, definitely, I don't think we would have been able to do it without that. So I think level 50 promo 5 is sufficient. Let's check what his defense was. 4,500, solid. I literally just moved my gear from my Olog onto him. Uh, it is what it is. I'm really glad we got it done. Let me know if you like these kind of like more stream style rambling videos where you see the theory crafting and you see all my attempts i had a lot of fun hope you guys did too if you like it like it chat with me in the comments i answer all the comments as always subscribe share it with your mother and i'll see you in the next one fast idiots.